I spend a lot of time thinking about these plants. I even think about their roots and mycelium and everything below the ground. I think about the water flow, but I'm missing something. And that is I'm missing the underground rock layer. I don't really know where it is. Now in the Barranca, I can see spots with big rocks, huge big rocks, and that's what's under this soil. But I don't know how deep that soil is in different locations. And overall, I want to make sure that the changes that occur here, long term, are to build greater soil levels and to utilize places with higher soil levels for their highest purpose. Make sure we, we protect those spots in a way. There's other spaces where we could dig down to the bedrock, dig down to the rock, and we could use that as a foundation to build on. That's solid rock. We want to, we want to have a good foundation, right? And I think that'd be the best way, but that's really hard to do without seeing what's under the ground. How can I see what's under the ground? I don't know. Geologists and people have better and better tools for doing that. I think there's LIDAR is one where it might be able to see under the ground better. I don't know at what detail it can do that or if it could be actually used, be used for like a land use planning or if that's just really big stuff, you know, to, to look for lost Mayan cities or something. But I want to see under this ground. Now, of course, as we do things like dig out a spot with a bulldozer for a building, like here we haven't found rock. There's probably rock over there. If we dig into this slope enough, which is what we're going to do in this spot, that's the plan for this spot. So we'll naturally learn what's there by making alterations. But if we knew ahead of time what was under the ground, then we could make those plans in a really smart way. We would be able to see the unknown and, and plan our land use accordingly. I'm not sure what technology is best for that. I don't know what, would it, what it would cost to do that. I don't know how that works. But I think uh, that's a useful thing. Here's some big rocks right here. Examples of what's right under this soil. There's not much soil on the top. And we want to make sure we don't lose that soil. And then we actually have spaces where we're building soil by, by having mycelium have access to places that are mixed rock and soil. Uh, because soil gets created. And we can sculpt the land in a way that creates soil instead of destroys it. And this amazing vision into what's under the earth and where could be amazingly helpful for that.